when we were sitting at Mayan's house, and when I asked you, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are That's you okay? the question. I wanted to help you because I could see you're not happy. But in reality, I wanted you to ask me if I was okay. I did. I said, no, Peggy, are you okay? Because of the way you said it, and it was difficult because it wasn't my cancer I was thinking about, it was my father. That killed me. Yeah, I mean, this is good that you're telling us now, but like, it would have been better to know at the time. Because then I think we would No one asked her, though. No one was sympathetic. But no we one didn't said, know. I said, are you, I said, are you OK, Peggy? Because no, But no Shannon, you weren't at Megan's dinner ready to like hear Peggy's heart and hear what happened with Deco. You came with like a speech prepared that you had practiced to go off on your side of everything. You know what's so funny? Well, that you continually so. assume things about me. If I prepare anything, I screw it up. I'm better off the cuff. I am. Megan, you said in your blog that she was playing the cancer card. When she and Shannon were talking about the whole miscommunication with Deco and David, I felt like Peggy shut it down by just saying, well, I don't, didn't have to go through chemo. Well, no one's going to argue with that, and I thought that was an unfair way to shut down an argument, and I thought that was pulling the cancer card. Why do you think people had a hard time believing or understanding um, the backstory about your cancer? I was in denial that I had cancer. So when people were asking me, I had to reach down deep inside and really feel that I did have it. And I'm, I didn't want to say it. It was hard for me to- You don't have a double mastectomy just because you've got <clears throat> nothing else to do. Yeah. So I, when she told me she had a double mastectomy, that was it. I don't want to know details. I thank you for sharing, and that must have been an incredible stress after burying your dad and then having the double mastectomy.